Nearly 40 years ago, Bill McMillan described winter as certainly the most difficult of seasons for the searching of steelhead on the fly. The winter season is wet fly fishing, a difficult, blind, probing of high, cold, and often colored water with the heavy flows incessantly working at the belly line and pushing at the angler's foothold during the necessity of a deep wade. The methods for fishing steelhead on the fly differ with each season, each season requiring its own patterns and presentations with certain overlaps in the transition from one to the other. Fly fishing is a reflection of the seasons and requires an intimate understanding and accurate observation of the life and mood about one. The advantages of depth gained can be completely lost by inability to control the sunken line once in the water. The fly must not only have a certain depth, but must also be presented to the fish in a slow, tantalizing, provocative manner to stimulate a feeding response. In winter, this response is difficult to evoke due to the dulling effect of extreme cold water on the steelhead's sensations. I love the challenge of winter steelheading. It's never easy. You gotta really work hard at it and you gotta want it bad. Winter steelhead are the largest strain of steelhead. They're harder to catch. They're bigger fish. They're mature. They're coming into a foreign environment in the big river. They're fresh out of the ocean. They got big shoulders and they're ready to get someplace. They may not be plentiful, you're fighting the odds to, to catch them, but when you do catch one, it's going to be a good one. These fish are big, they're fresh, they have their ocean weight on them, and they're not looking for flies. We're just trying to get their attention with them. one of those fish on the fly, there's nothing like it. I 
love the solitude of being on the river in early winter. Most people don't want to be out on the river this time of the year because it's not a real friendly place to be. So you don't have to try hard to get away from the crowd. There's so many river miles and so many different rivers and so much water around it. And not a lot of people out looking for, for these fish this time of the year. getting late in the day, I was starting to think it wasn't going to happen. I was starting to doubt everything, starting to doubt my fly color. I was thinking I wasn't fishing the right color fly. There was a point where I just had to stop and be confident in what I was doing and know that it was adequate and it was the right choice. And literally I threw that next cast out there and right in the middle of the swing that line came tight. It just stopped out there and I knew I was connected to, uh, to a nice fish. Mm -hmm. 